Hello, this is Aaron with AnetComputers.com with another potential fix for an issue you might be having. This one is more specifically, succinctly for Adobe PDF. PDF problem, can't open PDF files in Adobe Acrobat Reader. Unable to open PDF files in Adobe Acrobat Reader all of a sudden. You may receive the, quote, Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime Library Runtime Error Program C Program Files x86 Adobe Reader. This application has requested the runtime to terminate in an unusual way. Please contact the application support team for more information. Unquote. Error message when attempting to open Adobe Acrobat PDF files. If removing and reinstalling the program does not solve the problem, then the following solutions may work. Yes, a quick solution to that is to uninstall and then reinstall Adobe PDF or you could try repair you go into control panel add remove programs on Windows machines computers running Microsoft Windows then run a repair utility on Adobe PDF that might clear up that error if not try to uninstall Adobe PDF reader Acrobat reader then reinstall it Hopefully you no longer receive that error when trying to open up PDF files. If those two quick solutions don't work, then you can continue on with these instructions. And then in the description of this YouTube video, I will put the web link to this blog post where it has more specific instructions for you. So step one would be one of the easiest solutions is to go into the properties of the Acro rd32.exe executable by right clicking on the acro rd32.exe executable and then selecting quote run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2 unquote you may also have to do this on the acrobat.exe executable as well you would want to go into C program files and then Adobe Acrobat folder could be x86 or you could do a quick search search for those exact file names acro acro rd 32.exe as well as acrobat acro .exe, and then right click those and then follow those instructions to run those programs in compatibility mode and you would select windows xp service pack 2 S Part two or number two, another solution if the previous one doesn't work is to try to right clicking the executables again, only this time select run as administrator, then proceed with the first set of instructions. So yes, it may not work just by setting them in compatibility mode on Windows 8, Windows 7, etc. What you do is you just downgrade. If your Acrobat doesn't work and a reader doesn't work on Windows 7, you just change compatibility mode and choose the most previous version. You could even select Windows Vista or Windows XP Service Pack 3 or Windows XP Service Pack 2 until the program finally works correctly. That might be a quicker solution for you. It might be important. It might be an emergency. You might really need to access those PDF files. You do not have another computer. You're on a deadline. You could follow step one and then bam it works or you might have to follow step two which is in the same menu you right click those executables and then you set under properties you set run as administrator then you set the compatibility mode step number three or possible tip number three finally editing the following registry key will hopefully fix your error to accomplish this you go to start select run Type in regedit, click on OK. Once in the registry editor, navigate to the following location hkcu forward slash software forward slash Microsoft forward slash Windows forward slash current version forward slash explorer forward slash user shell folders. And then once you get to that key, on the right hand side of the registry editor, highlight app data. Double click app data to edit its path. Change the path from percent sign user profile percent application data to percent user profile percent app data. 
So you're, as you can see, you're just respelling that word. You're taking out application and application, and then replacing it with app instead. Then also H K C U software, Microsoft Windows current version Explorer user shell folders app data key value from percent user profile percent application data to percent user profile percent app data so you shorten it so hopefully if you're not familiar with how to or editing your windows registry i highly recommend you back it up first just in case and then also with the registry editor it's verbatim so you really want to make sure that you change the registry key to exactly the way it's stipulated here or if you're not familiar with editing the Windows registry I recommend going out on Google and finding some tutorials there's pro no doubt there's blog posts and articles and other YouTube videos that will specifically just show you how to edit the registry successfully and without causing further problems because what can happen is you might set a registry entry incorrect because it's 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 case sensitive and you have to you know the spelling is important it might make that program no longer usable or you might end up changing settings you might have the wrong registry key and you change up settings and you can you know start meddling with programs that you do not want to. So anyways, hopefully th these tips fix your possible problem where you are no longer able to open PDF files in Adobe Acrobat Reader. If these tips don't work, then I would recommend you just uninstall Adobe Acrobat Reader and then look for a file cleaning program like CC Cleaner, which I talked about on my previous video you would run a registry session, regis clean out the registry, clean out your temporary files and folders, then go in back and reinstall Adobe Acrobat Reader and then it might work like it did before. Anyways, you can always browse to anetcomputers.com for more possible potential fixes to your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening.